Right, in this video we're going to find Q1, Q2, Q3 and the IQR for the following data sets. Okay, we've got one data set where the number of terms is odd and we've got the other data set where we've added one more term so the number of terms n is even. And what we're going to do, I'm going to give you a method for doing each uh, different case. So remember, Q2 is a median, Q1 is a lower quartile, Q3 is the upper quartile, and the IQR is called the interquartile range, the measurement of spread. So let's take the first set of data. So the first set of data is 2, 8, 10, 13, 17, 20, 22, 25, 28. There are nine terms, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The median is called Q2. It's better to start with the median when you do this, Q2. That's the middle term, so there's going to be four this side and then four that side, so it must be the middle one, which is 17. Uh, one word of warning, the data has to be ranked in order or in ascending order, with the, starting from the smallest to the largest. This data has already been sorted. So Q2 is just 17. Now to find the lower quartile, what you do is you take these only. And this is what you do when n is odd. So you take all, all those, so you do not include the median or the middle value. And then you find the median of these of this set of data. So the lower quartile has two middle numbers, 8 and 10. So you add them together and divide by 2 and you're going to get 9. For the upper quartile, then you just take these set of numbers when n is odd. So it's 20, 22, 25, 28. And the upper quartile, Q3, will be the median mean of these two sets of data here. So it's 22 plus 25, which is 23.5. Now to do the interquartile range, which is IQR, you just do Q3, the upper quartile, minus the lower quartile, so it's going to be 23.5 minus 9, which gives me 14.5. So this gives you a method for doing it. Uh, sometimes a lot of confusion in trying to find Q1 and Q2. Now, if n is even, like in the second case, so we've added one extra number, 31, then again, n is even, 10, 10 numbers. So the median, you take the middle values, there's a 2 now, 17 plus 20, divide by 2, and you get 18.5. That's straightforward. Now, to find the uh, lower quartile, what you do is you now take 2, 8, 10, 13, and 17. So we include the lower middle value, which is 17, and then take the middle value of those. So the lower quartile, Q1, will just be 10. And then for the upper quartile, you take the middle numbers, including the upper middle value, which is 20 for the median. And then you take the middle value, which is going to be 25. And then the interquartile range is just going to be the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. So it's 25 minus 10. So that gives me 15. Okay, so this has been a video how to show you how to find the uh, Q1, Q2, Q3 and the interquartile range when you have a list of numbers when the number of terms is A, odd, and B, when the number of terms is even. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.